What's up, everyone? John Ranger from Techno Buffalo. It's been a while since I just sat here and talked about something that was on my mind in the world of tech. Uh, I want to talk about Sony's latest IFA announcement. Not the Z5 itself or even the Z5 Compact, but the 4K rocking Z5 Premium. Uh, our own Todd Hazelton was in Berlin for its announcement, uh, and we did our hands-on video of it. I went through and read the comments on it, and I was surprised at the amount of negativity focused towards Z5 Premium. So I want to talk about it, talk about a 4K screen, whether or not I think it's worthwhile and see if maybe that's going to be the commonplace thing for us to stare at uh, over the next few years. Uh, so first, if you've been living under a tech rock or maybe haven't been up to date last week, uh, Sony announced a Z5 Premium. Uh, and what that's going to be, it's their flagship new Z5 with a 5.5 inch screen. But it's got a 4K screen that's 2160 by 3844, just a ridiculous 801 PPI. And I think you're going to ask, uh, it's got a 3430 milliamp hour battery. But there's been a ton of negativity towards the 4K screen, mostly variances of people saying, why do we need that? Waste of time, audio's battery life, this phone's gonna last for 14 minutes before it dies, uh, things along those lines. So I had a few comments uh, about all of that. Certainly pushing more pixels is gonna take more battery life. That is very, very true. Um, I don't know if 4K screens are necessary. Certainly they're not necessary. You can still use a screen with a low resolution. But looking at a phone with a 2K screen, I tried to notice that much of a difference between a, a good 1080 screen and sort of an average uh, 2K screen. If you look at the screen on, let's say, the G4, for example, next to a really good 1080p screen, not going to notice that big of a difference. Uh, things do look a little bit crisper, where I think a 4K screen could be nice uh, as far as displaying a lot more content. When you're making content on your phone, generally it's a web page or something, but it's a mobile version and things are sort of shrunk down for it. On a 4K screen, you can almost get a desktop view of what you're looking at. Granted, it'll probably be super tiny. So imagine with a little bit of upscaling, uh, you can probably make things look absolutely gorgeous, crisp, and see a lot of content uh, on one screen. So I'm not of the school that thinks 4K is necessary at all. Hell, I barely even think 2K is necessary uh, on a screen. But what I am saying, and I encourage you to do the same thing, is don't judge it until you see it. Maybe there's a reason for it. Maybe it's gonna make something look incredible we never thought we needed before. Uh, the other caveat, obviously, is battery life. Uh, the 3430 pack, Sony says, can get you through a whole day. Um, I will certainly be the judge of that when we get one in. Uh, but as fast as screen technology is advancing, as fast as processors are advancing, um, we have not seen much advancements in the way of battery technology. Sure, we've seen things like battery packs being able to be molded shape-wise a little bit, um, but we haven't seen sort of a new battery technology itself. Uh, it's still mostly just lithium-ion cells for, for almost everything, which has really been unfortunate. I'd love to see new advancements uh, in battery technology. Things like lithium air that are gonna be making their way into electric cars soon. We're moving away from lithium altogether. I'd love to see something that can sort of push battery technology forward. So we're not limited by the juice in the phone or the tablet, but by more of what we can actually do with the product. And I'm excited to get to that point. I do think we had to have a first device that pushed the boundaries for a 4K screen. Now certainly I don't think Sony thinks it's fun everybody's going to buy, but it's a flagship and it's sort of Sony's statement of saying, listen, we can do this. We're a forward-thinking tech company. You should think about us when you buy your next phone. It's like a Halo car. Audi, for example, knows they're probably not going to sell a lot of R8s, but R8s are going to get people into dealership. They're going to get people to come look at it, and while they're there, maybe pick up an A4 or consider an A6. I think Sony's hoping that you look at the Z5 Premium and go, wow, that's incredible. The Z5, though, seems perfect for me. Or the Z5 Compact is the right device for me. Uh, it's all part of Sony trying to change, I think, the mindset of how people perceive their mobile division. Uh, I think it's a really nice step in that direction. Uh, I will say, though, naming it Premium was a really bad decision. Um, for my estimation, it makes other devices seem not premium. And if you don't want to call it a plus something, that's fine, but call it something different. Uh, certainly by calling one premium implies the others are not. And if you're trying to sell a lot of phones, implying your flagship device is not premium uh, is, is a tough pill to swallow. But I wanted just to talk to you guys about it. What do you think about a 4K screen? We wait till you see it before you can judge it, or if you've already just judged it and found it guilty. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Leave in the comments down below. Be civil to each other. Um, love to hear what you guys have to say. Until next time, I'm John Ranger from Techno Buffalo. See you guys next video.